Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Hey, that's Juanita. I'm running a little late for work. They already have the lights on, but that's okay because this is not what this is about and they can survive a little while without me anyway. But uh, today is day 39 and I'm going to be doing a follow-up to day 33. So if you haven't seen that video, go catch that video because this may make a little bit more sense. And yeah, because I'm going to be talking about my diet. I'm also going to be posting at the end of the video how I make my coffee, one more item that I eat for breakfast, and I'm going to also be sharing a tip that you can keep your salad nice and fresh. Okay, I'm going to go get my coffee, get some work done, and then I'm going to meet you guys on the first floor here shortly. Okay, see you guys soon. Hello, you guys. Thank you for uh, staying on my channel this long. Um, today, especially because I'm going to be talking about my diet. So I hope you guys have your tennis shoes on and you're going to walk with me, at least in the perimeters of your home, if nothing else, or go outside and go for a stroll. But uh, today I'm going to touch up on a follow-up of my day 33. So if you haven't seen that video, go catch that video. I talk about my diet. And so today is kind of a follow-up to that so you guys get a better picture of what I may eat within a day. So that being said, I'm gonna get started. So if you notice on my thumb, thumbnail that there's a plate and there's uh, like a sandwich um, and there's uh, nuts, there's hummus and carrots, there's a cucumber and there's a bag of uh, mixed greens. Uh, well, I don't eat everything in that plate in one sitting. It was just kind of a prop. Uh, but it's things that are within my diet. So let's just say this morning, which wasn't on the plate, but it will be at the end <laughs> of this video. But when I don't bring in breakfast or whatever, I will run across the street to the store and I will grab me a breakfast. And that breakfast consists of scrambled eggs with vegetables and I will throw in some uh, kale, some collard greens, and some spinach. Because I think it's really important to get your, you know, your greens in there somehow. And so that'll be my breakfast. And then I add a few potatoes in it too. So that'll be my morning breakfast. At lunch, if I even eat lunch because I'm more of a grazer, so sometimes my breakfast will last me throughout my day <laughs> practically because I'm working while I'm eating. And so basically, for a treat, if I'm still hungry, then I will either grab a very small uh, handful of mixed nuts, and I'll graze on that, or I will switch it to carrots and hummus. Uh, the other thing that I eat for breakfast, if I'm not eating two eggs over medium and half hash browns, uh, that's a half order of hash browns, then I will uh, get one slice of sourdough and I will add avocado to it and some mixed greens, if not just spinach. And then I will add two eggs on that. And that'll be my breakfast. Along with my breakfast, I will eat, uh, well not eat, uh, I will drink, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm really breathing hard here. But anyway, so I apologize for all the pauses. It's because I'm trying to breathe and talk at the same time. And this is, for some reason, today is particularly hard. <laughs> but anyway, 
back to my story. Um, sometimes for uh, lunch, I may have uh, just a, a salad. Now, for my drinks, I will have water. First thing in the morning, I will have water. Sometimes, rather than having coffee, I'll have tea if I'm feeling like I'm catching a cold. I'll have an herbal, mixed herbal tea drink that is specific for colds. And if I don't do that, I will have coffee with just a little bit of frothed milk, which I prepare here at work. So I will clip that video at the end of this video. And uh, so you see my process on that. And, or I will have uh, hot water with lemon and uh, just a cap full of apple cider vinegar. And I apologize if this camera is a little shaky today, because I'm shaky today for some reason. It is crazy. I feel like uh, this camera is weighing a ton today. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so anyway, that's what I will eat. So for dinner, and that's what I eat during the day. You may also notice there's a piece of candy. Yeah. <laughs> well, even I eat candy. I don't really have a sweet tooth. I don't know <laughs> if I got ripped off growing up and uh, got deprived of sweets that I just don't crave sweets, or if I just plain don't have a sweet tooth. And that could be possible. Now my sweet tooth, does tend to go and gravitate more towards fruit. So that's another thing that I will do for breakfast. I will prepare uh, shea, uh, shea pudding. And what I do is I will put uh, blueberries, raspberries, and uh, uh, blackberries, blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries, and two tablespoons of shea seeds in a mason jar and then I will top it off with, I, I will throw a little bit of almond nuts, crunched almond nuts in there sometimes and then I will top it off with either uh, coconut milk or almond milk and then I will cap it and put it in the refrigerator overnight and that'll be my breakfast. Primarily that's most of the time in the summer because that's when the fruit starts coming out or in the springtime when fruit starts coming into the market, that's when I start going and doing that. And so I will do that. And uh, then for dinner, what I will do, if I'm hungry at all, because sometimes I've eaten all day, because like I said, I'm a grazer. So I will eat all day. <laughs> so I do eat a lot, <laughs> but it just doesn't seem like a lot listing the foods that I'm eating. But, uh, but yeah. So, yeah, I'll eat a piece of candy if it's around, you know, and it, and, but I just don't eat the whole box or I won't eat overindulge in anything. So basically that's why my diet uh, and my, and why I gain muscle and why I also uh, get benefits from uh, walking up these stairs. So let's see, and then for dinner, I will go home and I will make a big salad. Sometimes I'll sear tuna or salmon or steelhead. I prefer steelhead. I kind of like steelhead a lot better than salmon because it just doesn't have quite that fishy smell. But, uh, but you know, either or, they're both yummy. And so I will sear some of that. And sometimes I'll have just a salad with that. Sometimes I'll put tuna in my salad, uh, you know, or I'll add to, uh, tofu, I, yeah, tofu, nobody likes tofu probably, or maybe a lot of you do, but it is rather tasty, especially if you season it really well. And it's good protein, so uh, I will do that. But if you have, if, you know, 
if you're a meat eater, you know, sear up some, a steak and chop it up, put it in your salad, it's really yummy. And uh, let's see, the other thing that I'll do is I will sear the same type of fishes and then I'll just do like a, you know, I don't know, some kind of green on the side if I don't do a salad. Now let me tell you, or tell you a little bit of uh, a good trick to keeping your salads fresh. If you notice in that Ziploc bag, there was some greens in it. And uh, what I will do is I'll make me a salad and then I will squeeze as much air out of it before I zip it lock. And that will keep your, it'll keep your avocado fresh. It'll keep your uh, tomatoes and cucumbers fresh. And yeah, because the air is what ferments everything and, you know, kind of makes everything soggy. So yeah, if even if you make a big salad at night, you know, get some saran wrap and push it down. If you're not done with that salad, push it all the way down until you release a lot of the air out of it. Then re-top it with some more saran wrap and that salad, I tell you, will taste just as fresh the next day as it did the night that you fixed it. And uh, so yeah, there's a trick to that. And uh, let's see, for lunch sometimes, I will eat a whole avocado for lunch. And if I'm eating, if I'm already snacking and, and uh, uh, ate, you know, a sandwich with eggs, you know, or had eggs and whatever uh, for breakfast, then for lunch, I'll just have a whole avocado. And it's great fats for you. It's, it's the good fat for you. So yeah, so an avocado a day doesn't hurt anybody as long as you're not feeding yourself a bunch of other, on, um, I guess like saturated fats. Saturated fats are just not good for you. So anyway, that's kind of what my diet is. And uh, like I said, I will put a clip and uh, show what I had for breakfast this morning and how I make my coffee. And I tell you, it is Starbucks coffee, but way less than you will pay at Starbucks. And I do this every day. So, well, just about every day, anyway. Okay, that being said, I think I'm at the end of my rope here. I gotta get back to work and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you catch me on this and many more videos because even though this is day 39 and we are getting there towards the end, I'm not gonna quit walking stairs. I'm gonna continue walking stairs. I may not be doing a segment on walking stairs, but I will continue it because I think it's great exercise. And they're right out of my office, so why not utilize them and continue my workouts for the day. But I've got a lot more videos that we'll be posting once a week thereafter. So you're not getting rid of me that quick. So, okay, that being said, I'm out of here. I will talk to you guys tomorrow on the first floor. Okay, thank you for uh, being on my channel. That's how you make a good cup of coffee.